I know y'all wondering because I've never ever, aside for that one vlog about two years ago, I've never ever recorded where it wasn't full of lights. But today we shall discuss how to thoroughly shower, how to shower with restrictions. The reason being is that one, I can't tell you why I'm not in full lights, but I will share that later on down the line when I'm allowed to. And then two, there are certain restrictions folks may have with water and electricity. And I decided, you know what? Maybe everyone doesn't know how to pivot. This makes me think of Romans 8 verse 28, which says that all things work together for the good for those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. If you're not a Bible head, don't feel alone. Look it up and then look up the name. So the first thing to remember about being under restrictions, specifically with showering, and you can apply and pivot these same rules in case you're being restricted from baths or restricted to certain time frames or how long or whatever it is. Whatever the restriction is, I need you to remember first things first. Here's the first step before you start anything, that anything is possible because nothing is impossible with God. That's all. The second rule is you need to make sure you have your key showering and or bathing products in order prior to going into this bathroom at which you are looking to take your daily shower. It's time for you to take the shower and or bath. So make sure for the ladies, make sure you have your feminine hygiene. I'm trying to see if I can find something, but that's okay. Make sure you have your main body wash or bar soap and Make sure you have what you're going to bathe with, washcloth or shower louver. If I were you and you were underneath restrictions for any type of water, for any type of electricity, I would opt for a washcloth because one, it's reusable. Two, it'll only house the bacteria as soon as you shower and or bathe with it, but you could wash it again, it's reusable. A shower louver, however, has a shorter shelf life in my honest opinion because I always encourage, and I'm keeping my promise, that every time I bring it up or see it, I think it's the promise I made, that I will remind you. Although I am out of shower loopers, which means I don't buy them anymore, max two weeks, switch them out. I know you're probably wondering why. They house bacteria. Even after you rinse them, even after you scald them, run them out of hot water, soak them, and sanitize them, they still have some form of bacteria that you can't really scrape out all the way, which is why I encourage that. When I found it out, I said, I'll start switching them out on a regular basis. Now, for the men, a plain bar of soap, body wash. In my opinion, y'all have it a bit easier in, the, in this degree because you have three-in-one shampoo, body wash, and conditioner. Y'all have the three-in-one type stuff. Then have a good lotion and cologne. For the ladies, feminine hygiene wash, a bar of soap, a body wash and make sure that bar soap backtrack it real quick is a, a plain one like dove just plain original mild scent and then have a good body lotion and a good fragrance mist that last okay now if you have a perfume then that's fine make sure that you put that in a bag amazon has plenty of these where it's like a, a travel bag with a drawstring if i could find it i would put it on either side of this screen comes in an array of colors, even for the men, so that way you don't have to worry about carrying around something pink, okay? Because I know how y'all feel about it. And then make sure you put all of those immediate things in a bag, make sure they're all full size, and then you go in the shower. Now for the shower tips, what you're going to do, this is for both ladies and gentlemen, you wanna make sure that you are, let me cut that out. All right, so, so once you're in the shower, you want to make sure that you're turning this on at full speed and get your temperature together. So if it's ladies, we tend to do hot. Men, you can mix the hot and cold and create the temperature you're comfortable with. You want to go in with your bar soap. This is a tip for men and women. You want to go in with your bar soap for the men or feminine hygiene wash and go in the areas in which the bacteria, which smells, which is more prone to smells first. So for the ladies, you want to go in with your feminine hygiene wash, get underneath the arms. It's pH balanced, so it's safe to put underneath the arms. Or either you go, you use the regular bar soap for that. Get the armpits, get the nether regions, the private areas, your lady parts, men, your equipment. Go in there first 
remember you're being restricted here so you want to go for the areas that are more more you gonna smell them first and they're gonna go funky first okay because that's because the bacteria yeah all right so once you've done that then you can go in with your body wash and then what you want to do is with the body wash go around those areas that you have not washed because you were previously and initially focusing on the armpits and the private parts and the areas in which smell first go bad well not go bad look you're not a vegetable okay you don't spoil but there's bacteria that causes funk and it causes the smell Go in with the body wash to get the other areas after you've tackled the armpits so you don't have armpit cheddar. My little joke there. Corny, I know. And then go in with the private parts and then wash your butt and in between them. Okay, just say no to that and wash it. Okay. Go in with the body wash and go around where you washed with the armpits previously with all the body wash behind the ears, chest, navel ring. Do that with a bar of soap but you can still double wash or wash it with body wash too. Do that as well. Then when it comes to rinsing, you rinse strategically as well. Rinse in the exact same places in which you had to use the body wash around those areas that were adjacent to where the funk tends to be the most prone, the armpits and the private parts and manual equipment too. By the time you finish this, it should be a good 30 to 45 minutes. But if you have shorter time restrictions, what you want to do is use the bar of soap for everything and then rinse or use the good body wash and get a plainly scented mild body wash and then do it that way and still use the same exact technique of going in in the areas that are more scent odor prone like the armpits the private areas your navel behind your ears go with that behind your neck front of the neck go in with those first if you're on a shorter time restriction than that go in with that first and then do your rinsing and then when you rinse if you have shorter time frames rinse in the armpits rent in the private area and in the man and for the man rinse in your equipment area okay and then go on, on and rinse everything else after put on your deodorant also put that in the kit that you have so that way, once you're done with your shower and you step out, not to mention in this kit, you not only want to put your plain bar soap, you not only want to put your body wash, you not only want to put your deodorant, make sure you get some clinical if you can. If you can't, get some very strong that's just under that level that doesn't mess with your armpits and make you excessively sweat and it's like you ain't put on deodorant at all. A good body, mildly scented or kind of lightly scented body lotion good fragrance mist cologne or perfume and put in a washcloth or shower loofah and a good towel once you step out that bathroom first thing you do you need to dry off from bottom to top get in the crevices of, of your equipment okay man you can get in the crevices of your lady parts all right ladies do that then pack everything back up neatly fold the washcloth neatly fold the towel this is where you're going to need a separate bag, like a Ziploc bag, a separate bag to go within your travel bag. And then you can pack every, all those immediate full things into that travel bag before then exiting the bathroom in which you're restricted. That's the only way I can see you could do it. Now, for ladies, if you would like a tip, if you would like tips on how to put together a feminine hygiene kit, it's going to include the things outside of the immediate bar soap, body wash, fragrance mist, perfume, and body lotion. So I'm going to link it at the end of this video. If you would like to see more videos like this where I'm giving out body care tips, whether I'm in a public bathroom or in the dark and just not telling you why just yet, but one day I shall testify about it. Then on either side, there should be a playlist for you all to enjoy. And until next time, and I'm hoping that if you are being restricted from taking showers or baths, that it is completely and immediately temporary, whether it's due to the hurricane or not. Mine is it. Un yeah. Love you. When I think about love, it's one of the bravest, bravest things, things that you can do. It is patient. It is kind. It does not envy or boast. And it'll keep, keep you on, on the coast of not being rude or self-seeking. Nor is it easily angered or seething mad and it keeps no records of wrongs 
It has no pleasure in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. And most of all, 